Kinfield, North Arlington candidate. I actually wasn't invited to this event, I crashed it. <laughs> Seriously, I'm anti gas wells, and uh, that may be the reason I'm. I've spent the last two years researching the gaps and regulations to protect the public in urban drilling. I understand how the short term exposures of pre production, the drilling fracking flowback, can have acute exposure for people that increase their risk for heart disease, strokes, cancer, leukemia, anemia. I, I value the quality of life and my property values more than my mineral rights. I care that Chesapeake and Apple 9 own unprecedented land grabs in all of Tarrant County. If you add all the other drillers on the TAB records, there's over 700 properties that's owned by drillers. Chesapeake is known for its unconventional debt. They are going to come short $3.5 billion just this year in covering their expenses. I know I have to overcome the stigma of being a one-issue candidate, but I have proved over the last two years by donating all my time to research the unconventional shale gas industry with the controversial hydrofracking process, and I'm very concerned. Just recently, the Department of Public Health in Colorado completed their three-year study. Three doctors studied the Ballant Mesa community, and they placed a hazard index of 40 on the study results, being one is no health effects, and they received the 40. Now, their gas is half wet, half dry. We have dry gas. There are several gaps in that hazard index. If you go to my website, Kim Field, K-I-M-F-E-I-L, the number four, councilseat.wordpress.com. That's Kim Field, the number four, councilseat.wordpress.com. You can get the details on that. Another issue with the gas drilling industry people don't want to talk about is our roads. We, we, there's a thousand trucks associated with drilling each well, and TxDOT reported that the other day. They just issued 40 million just recently to immediately pay the heaviest drilled out, 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 drilled out roads. Uh, we do need me on our council because when the health effects and the truth about our heavily studied air, which fails to capture the pre-production emissions, comes out, we want to be able to have an exit strategy from the gas drilling industry. Chesapeake is already headed to South Texas, the Eagle from Shale, where the gases are wet. I can go on about drilling. I do want to tell you a little bit about myself. I, I went to college eight years part-time. I uh, worked full-time for um, as a margin analyst with Cardinal Healthcare. I lived in a refinery town. Uh, I worked along a fence line with Shell Oil for five years here. We're talking about gas drilling again. But you, you work on a fence line next to a refinery. I've been through two emission events that I know of, one explosion event, everyone knew of, and um, I was transferred out here. And I substitute taught for eight years with at -risk students. I have been on an internet business that I've ignored for the last two years. Um, I have a big heart for the truth. And I think money has really played a big part in uh, the cover-ups. I appreciate that the city of Arlington has some air quality incentive programs, but I have issues with cutting into cement around people. They were doing that at UTA uh, when they were expanding. I uh, want to see us uh, look at General Motors and make sure their 562 tons per year is not flowing into our entertainment district if they can be using additional scrubbers and not just what's legally mandated because they are expanding. I do care that the land values at the drill sites are eroding in taxable value. Some of these drill sites have $3,000 per acre that they're paying taxes on. Eventually, that's going to cut into our general fund, and that can end up laying off our emergency personnel in the very town that needs it. I care that our gas oil drilling inspectors don't have infrared camera that can see these invisible, unseen, unodorized emissions. I care that they don't even inspect the one compressor station that we do have in Arlington where I met a lady just by chance whose grandbaby had three those leads a year and now she's having three a day. I've probably gone past my three minutes, but I've done this for two years without pay. If I become a council person, I'll get $200 a month. So, you know, what's another two years? I really appreciate your vote. Tell anybody you know in North Arlington if they really want to know the truth, 
They need to look on the internet. And you don't need to go to just my website. There's a wealth of information out there. Please attain it. Gas drilling has been the biggest thing that's happened to Arlington, and it can be the biggest thing that takes us down. Thank you.